Hey, this is Rene. Welcome back to another video on this channel. And today, as I promised yesterday, I will give you the update on my my Forex Funds Evaluation Challenge. Um, I will give you the details about how much profit I made in the last two days or one and a half days or whatever. And um, I want to start with showing you the trades that I made yesterday and today. Afterwards, we will also talk about what EA I use. I will give you like one or two words on this. I will show you the slippage um, like on the first day compared to a live trading account with IC Markets. And then I will show you the analytics in my uh, my Forex funds uh, membership area. So stay tuned and watch the whole video to, uh, to not miss something. Also, uh, please like this video and subscribe if you want to see more about this project and about automated trading in general. So let's start with the first trades and let's go. So here's some video recording of the first trades made in the account. Um, you will see on the left side that um, we will have the Euria solar chart. And you can see here at the arrow, there's the breakout above this relative high. And um, we will see in a second that the price jumps above this high. Here it happened. And the stop loss, you can see it is like really um, small, but was already triggered. And my first trade in this challenge was a crazy win of one cent. So success so far. Let's jump to the second trade. You can see here in US dollar Japanese yen, just some minutes later, we drop below this relative low. And you can see there is the entry. The um, yeah, price stays at this level for a while. The um, uh, trigger for my trailing stop is a little bit uh, further away from the entry point compared to the Euro US dollar for US dollar Japanese yen. This is just because this was what uh, performed better in the test. But here you can see the price now falls below this low and the stop loss is there. It is placed and it will be triggered now. So here you can see second profit. This time it was a real an actual profit, which was um, 27 euro roughly, which is 0.5% for this account, I think. And these were the trades on the very first day. So on the, t the second trade here, we saw some more trades. The first one in euro US dollar, I was too late to record it, but I think it was a really small profit. Let's have a look at this in a second in the account. And here, this is another trade I want to show you, which is in USD, Japanese yen. Also, uh, just some minutes after the first trade, these currency pairs are highly correlated because of the USD. So these trades often happen um, really close to, to each other pretty much. So you can see for the second trade, this trade was a little bit annoying and I watched it live and there was um, like directly after the trigger, the price went back. And, and this is like the big risk with um, the Skyping strategy because when the price moves back, you can generate big profit, uh, big losses. Here I'm just checking the IC Markets account if um, the, the uh, uh, trade was taken like the same way. And um, yeah, also you can see like in this comparison, you can really uh, see really good how the spread is a lot smaller in the IC Markets account. But let me fast forward a bit until we see the end of this trade. So here I, inc I increased the speed by uh, 100 times and you can see like the price was really not going to the direction of this trade in the in the beginning. And uh, there, was a, there was a huge um, temporary drawdown, but in the end, after nearly 20 minutes, the price hit the trading stop loss. This is not what we want to see for uh, Skyping trades, but sometimes it's just like this. Yeah, so these were the first two trading days. Here you can see all the trades made uh, in the history also. Um, the first trades were taken on the 25th of October. So I think I have uh, 30 days now from this date to reach the 8% target. How much I um, realized until now, we will have a look at this later on in the analytics on the MyFX, uh, sorry, my Forex Funds membership area. But uh, here you can already see um, some more things. Like, first of all, the expert advisor that I use, this is nothing, uh, there's no secret. This is the Skyping, Skyping Project EA that I talked about on this channel before. If you're interested, you should have a look. Also, I added some modifications to the code because the drawdown, the daily drawdown is always based on the um, uh, starting account size for uh, my Forex funds. So I had to set the initial 
balance to 5,000. So everything is calculated on the 5,000 now, like the maximum drawdown and the risk in percent, percent which I trade with 4% because I have a 5% daily drawdown limit. Also, I made some more modifications to the code. So if the total for this account is 4% in uh, a drawdown for the day, all trades will be closed and trading will be stopped for this day and it will start on the next day then again. So these are the changes that are made on the code. I think the rest is pretty much the same as with the default or the normal scalping project EA. And I didn't change a lot um, of the other uh, functions. Yeah, also um, I am using, wait, let me make this a little bit bigger. I'm using 20... TSL trigger points for Euro US dollar and I use 40 TSL trigger points for the USD Japanese yen. This is what worked best in the tests and yeah, we'll just try it with these settings. Also, thank you for all the comments below the last video. Also about um, like your experiences with um, uh, prop trading firms. I really learned a lot there and uh, some of the tips were really helpful for me. So let's um, have a look at some more things like um, let's have a look at maybe the trading costs. Um, so you can see like for my trading funds, I was a little bit scared that I would see a really huge spread and a really huge commission. What we can see here is first of all, the spread is huge. This is a fact. This is not like the normal direct market access spread that we know from brokers like IC Markets. So if we compare these spreads and I did this like on different times uh, in the day. And the spread for the MyForex funds um, demo is usually two or three times as big as the IC market spread. And this is huge. This is um, really a big problem, especially for scalping strategies. This is not um, as big as a problem for long-term swing trading strategies, but for scalping strategies, this really can make a difference. Um, the spread for this my forex funds account is sometimes it is really uh, really really narrow really small we do see like zero or one or two points for euro usd but often is it is really big and i already saw spreads like 10 or 20 points which are one or two pips and this is really a lot for scalping strategies so i'm curious to see if this strategy can handle the spread but i'm always comparing it to the my um, to the ic markets account so i have a nice uh, comparison if um, trading is possible um, with a my forex funds broker um, yes also we have some uh, commission here so we do not only see the um uh, the spread we also see a commission and this is for my forex funds um, wait where is it here it is 1.5 usd per lot so a, in total for a round turn we uh, we pay three usd and we can also see this in the conto uh, account history here for example here we traded one lot in um, euro us dollar and we pay in commission a total of three usd and this is of course different for ic markets in the ic markets account i have um more i pay more commission and here i pay uh, a commission which is uh, 2.1 uh, 2.15 euro per um per half turn so it's 4.3 euro per round turn so the commission is higher for IC markets but the spread is smaller I think like in total overall IC markets is still cheaper and I would always prefer to have these raw spreads which are market spreads than the increasing spreads that we see here but I do not really have a choice I have to take the circumstances or the the trading um, environment that I get from the my forex funds uh, administration and yeah what else do we see we um, saw the uh, commission and the spread and when we are talking about trading costs we also have to uh, take a look at the uh, slippage and this is why I already integrated my slippage analyzer here so let me run the slippage analyzer here on the chart and we can say that we want to have the slippage for everything here let's see so in the first two days we had on average 7.1 um, points slippage for entry and exit it's nearly the same for entry and exit and if we compare it to IC markets I hope that I can do this 
but it should work if I um, compare the exact same traits. So let me run the slippage analyzer here for IC markets. And here I will have to say that we want to choose two days, I think. Um, yeah, let me try it like this. So, okay. And here we see eight deals. So, okay, perfect. This is really cool. So we see that the slippage was higher for the IC Markets account. And this is really cool. This gives me hope <laughs> that I have a chance to pass the evaluation challenge. Um, but yeah, of course, I mean, you cannot compare like four trades. You will have to compare a size of, uh, a sample size of 20, 100. Um, I mean, as the more trades you compare, the more accurate is the result. Uh, four trades um, or eight deals do not really say a lot. But we can see that the slippage is okay-ish um, for the MyForex funds uh, account since it is similar to the IC Markets um, account. So this is uh, really good. Like So this is for the slippage. Let's jump to my next uh, point on the list. So we talked about the system. We talked about trading costs, commission, spread, and slippage. Let's talk about the performance that we were able to make here or to, to generate. Of course, we have profit because I'm a profitable trader. Um, no, I'm joking. This is, of course... Um, uh, we are risking 5% with every single trade. So we should expect to see a profit like this. And this is a little bit more um, than 1%. We will see this later on, like the exact number in the membership area of the um, my Forex fans, uh, funds. But if, if we have a look in the history, you can see like the four trades that I showed before. You can see the first trade. This was the trade where I lost one cent. This is because the profit was 2.97 and the, the commission was 2.98. Yeah, this is pretty much break even. I do not really care about this trade. Um, was a little bit unfortunate because uh, in the IC Markets account, this was a winner. But... Um, um, yeah, wait, wait, we can see it um, here. So in the IC Markets um, account, I made like 10 cent profit. Um, this is, of course, a lot less than in the uh, my Forex funds because in IC Markets, I trade a 200 euro account and not a 5,000 uh, USD account. But we still make a, made a profit with the first trade. And... Um, this is because the prices are not completely the same for IC Markets and MyForex Funds. And this is normal. For every broker that you will trade, you will have different prices. This is because they have different liquidity pools and they get different quotes from these pools. So this is nothing unusual, but still we made a profit for IC Markets and had a, had a break-even trade pretty much for MyForex Funds. But as long as we are not losing, this is okay. So let's have a look at the next trades. This, um, the first uh, USD trade on the first day made a profit of yeah, 30 um, USD roughly. If we take the commission away, it was a little bit less than 30. The next um, uh, Euro US dollar trade, which was today, made a small profit of around 10 Euro. And the next trade in USD, um, Japanese yen today, made a profit of uh, around 25 um, USD. So if we... Now go back here from this server. Let me um, close the server and let's go back to my local PC because on my local PC, I already opened the membership area for my Forex funds. And this is what the uh, analytics tool looks like. And uh, to be honest, I love this tool. I really love it because it is really uh, easy to understand. You have all the key figures that you need. And uh, what, we, what we see here right now is that I have... Uh, 29 trading days left. This is correct because I started trading yesterday. And uh, a little side fact for those who are interested, the period does not start when you place your first pending order because for me this was two days ago, but the first trade or position was opened yesterday. So this was when the um, period, uh, the, the days left started to count. So um, yeah, yesterday was the first trade, 29 days left for this challenge. The overall goal is um, 8%. I am currently 1.24% in profit because I am in profit 62 uh, USD. And here is my profit target, what I have to reach. And 
This is pretty much everything we see here. Also, you see the profit loss for the current day always, and you see all the um, stop out levels. And um, yeah, this is this is really cool, I think. Kind of helps you if you do not uh, have the code in your expert advisor, for example. Uh, I mean, I do not really need this because I have the safety mechanism um, coded in the expert advisor, but it's still cool to see this. Also, I see like, um, the evaluation phase that I'm currently in. And this is the overview in the uh, MyForex Funds membership area. Okay, so this is it. A um, little overview over the last two days of trading in this channel uh, challenge. Um, right now, everything is going as I planned it. The second um, USD Japanese yen trade today um, was a little bit uh yeah i was a little bit scared that i would hit the first stop loss already with a nice five percent drawdown but everything worked out and yeah i will keep you updated if you're interested in the progress this, that i make uh, please give me a um a feedback below this video shall i make more um, documentations like this like showing the trades if i was able to record them talk about the trades uh, or should I just show you like the, the, the plain numbers and do you are you not interested in the trades? Um, this would be really uh, interesting for me and should I make uh, regular or, or should I make um, updates like on a daily basis or just um, after I finished uh, the challenge? <laughs> because at some point I will uh, be successful or I might have failed. And um, yeah, at this point I'm not sure if I'm able to, uh, to win this challenge. But um, I think like for this period, 30 days, it is always, you always need some kind of luck to pass these evaluation challenges. Let's be honest here. This is, it's, it's not like you can, um, it, it, it is not only dependent on your skill as a trader. It's always a, um, a big percentage of luck involved. If you hit, if you have to hit such a target in a specific um, uh, time period. So yeah, this is it. A uh, little update. Let me know what you think below in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great time. Until uh, next time, I hope you will have good trades. Um, yeah, I'm out. Bye-bye.